Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Monday and of course it is a continuation of the uh, teas from uh, Fairy Art by Selena Finesh, Finek and we are going to be coloring this with the whole bind colored pencils. Hello Dawn, hello Noel, hello Lisa, hello Yana, hello 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 everyone out there in Lurker Lurker land. Hello Joyce. I hope you can all hear me just fine. It's not too loud, too soft, whatever. So we are going to be coloring this part here today with the um, Holbeins and then we'll be doing the background with some Tim Holtz Distressed Inks. Hello Nightbot, my lovely friend. <laughs> All right, so let's just get started here. We're going to zoom you in a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave you out so that you don't see the back of my hand a lot. So the first color we're going to start with is Opal Green, which is 271. And we're just going to base this lovely fella. You will probably not even see this color until I start adding more. <laughs> and we will do the embellishments and that sort of thing after we get the background done so all the little spots on her dress and in her hair and on her wings we'll do those after we finish the background Now I want him to have a green gray kind of look. Sort of like um, aged kind of coppery type of look. Because why not? Or, you know, the how uh, things that are concrete or stone after sitting for a long period of time get that green algae type stuff growing on them. That's what we're kind of going for. I hope everybody that was able to see it enjoyed the uh, eclipse today. I did not get to see it. It was not not visible in Oregon. There was a little bit of uh, visibility, but the clouds kind of killed that. So, and this is just our base layer. And we'll be building up the colors from here. We'll be working in those gray green kind of tones, the dirty greens. Don't have a whole lot to talk about. Hello, Aspie. Good day, good day, good day. I hope you are doing well. Good morning, Celine. All right. 
this part here and then we'll be done with this color for now. Like I said, you probably can't, oh, well, you can see it a little bit. Probably can't see it a whole lot. Uh, no, it's the same camera, just uh, better lighting. <laughs> Okay, now I'll put that in here. Oh good, I'm glad that there's a tin showing up. Uh, the next color we're going to use is uh, Misty Green. So that was Opal Green, this one is Misty Green which is number 272. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. I did finish her legs, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Since Saturday, I did finish her legs. I did uh, put the links in the community tab for this project. I also linked the Japanese 100 set that is a better price than the US set. Um, it doesn't have the pastel tones, but you can get the pastel tones in the US. Even the purchasing of the 100 set in Amazon Japan and purchasing the 100, the 50 set of the pastel tones here in the US is cheaper than buying the 150 set here in the US. So which I think is redonkulous. Hello Zoe. Uh, yes, the ads. I may have forgotten to turn them off. And I don't have the... Uh, you may end up getting ads. I don't think I turned them off. I'm sorry. Usually I turn them off. But I was tired this morning when I was doing the thing, so. When I was putting the stream together, Hello, Angela. It's okay. I, I understand what you said, dear. It's all right. It's all right.
He's getting the... So this is our medium tone. So we're getting it into all the shadow areas and bringing it out into the highlight area. Ooh, yummy banana bread. I'm not. I I'm. I have to go on a diet, which I'm not looking forward to, because yeah, I'm already on a diet. <laughs> uh, the doctor says my cholesterol is up, so I have to cut out nuts and meat. Yeah, red meat. And guess what my diet consists of? <laughs> Nuts and red meat. Oh well, it is what it is. Hello, Sue. Banana bread's a good choice. It's got bananas in it, which is healthy, right? <laughs> I like banana bread. I I would prefer to not be able, not to have to go without those sorts of things. Okay, now the next color I'm going to use is jasper green, which is 294. forest hello Suzanne yes uh, yes you can buy the 100 set and the uh, 50 set separately the 50 set has the um, pastel tones in it and the 100 set has all the other colors like I said on Amazon Japan the, the 100 set is cheaper than the 100 set the 150 set here and you can get the 50 um, pastel set here it is currently unavailable on Amazon Japan that's why I sit I suggest you get it here but you can get the um, 100 set on Amazon Japan with shipping for 170 some odd dollars, I think, is what we figured it out to be. And then the 100, the 50 set for the pastels was only 160 or 170 here. So it still works out to be less than what Blick has them on for on Amazon US, which is like almost $600. Yes, you can buy the 100 um, on Amazon Japan. And on Blick's website here in the U.S. as well. It's just they're more expensive. I like the, the pastel tones. Especially for doing light things. But there are other companies out there that are putting out the pastel sets as well. So. I know it's not the same. I, I have that issue. It's like, but it's not the same. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I, I um, Holbein's are not my most expensive pencil. 
when I bought my Holbeins, I bought them from a store in Japan that was going out of business. And I got them for approximately $150 plus shipping. So I think it worked out to be like $160. $160. Uh, I think the most expensive pencils I have um, that I purchased, well, Bob purchased, are the Felicimos. Oh, nice. That's a good temperature for you. Yeah, I bought my Holbeins about three years ago, so. They are actually really nice, Sue. I like my Felismos. There's different sets of Felismos. The ones that uh, are a round barrel that came out a few years ago, um, I have heard are very, very um, hard. The square ones that I have that are on the market at Fel Felismo now um, are a square barrel and they're really soft. They're really, really nice. Uh, no, it, it wouldn't give you any dip, duplicates between the 100 set and the 50 set. It should not give you duplicates. Unless you were buying the 150 set and a 50 set, then you would have duplicates of the uh, pastel tones. Now this is uh, Amazon paper and I'm getting a good amount of layers down. Awesome Sue. Yeah I, I did uh, Felismo Fridays where I showed each and every set um, and colored with them and did their little little art things. I'm not a crafty person, so I, I actually gave up on the arty things. <laughs> Their paper for the arty things is not very good, and it does uh, frustrate you when it comes to coloring with them. So I would suggest if you do get the Felismos, don't do the arty things. Um, their paper is really, really ucky. Same with their uh, paper for their swatches. Um, swatch them on your own paper because 
that paper is just not not conducive to enjoying your pencils. I did it on the the paper that came with it and I did not like it at all. When I swatched it on my own paper uh, for my full swatch I really enjoyed them much better. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll have to look at it again, but I'm pretty sure that uh, the, the 100 set and the 50 set are there are no duplicates between them. Okay, going to turn you just slightly so I can get into his foot a little better. down around his nails as well. All right, now we're going to grab the misty green again. And we're going to come up through here. Make sure we get into all those shadow areas. So basically we're just doing the same thing we just did, just backwards. So we just did our dark green, now we're going in with the medium green, blending in that dark green. Got a bit of a sniffle going on. I think I need to sharpen. need to turn the pencil. down into his toenails here. Thank you, Yana. Okay. 
And then the next one is the opal green, which is 271. And I am going to sharpen this one. Thank you. And we're using that opal green to blend everything together. I do need to put a little bit more of this in his ear. So we're going back to the misty green. I didn't put enough of it in his ear shadow here. that off a little bit and then we're going to go back to our opal green which is 271 Thank you, Dawn. Because it done a little funky, but it's amazing what you see once you start getting color on things. I think I want a little bit more of that in here. So how is everybody else tonight? I know it's a uh, late for some people and it's time to wind down and get ready to go na nights and get some sleep ready for tomorrow. And some of us are just waking up. <laughs> Okay, there we have our little fella here, and now we're going to take our um, carmine, and I'm going to sharpen this. I don't believe the colors are different, but I could be wrong. 
I have the um, brush bullet set. Now I need some yellow. So we're going to use this one. Oh no! Uh, I'm going to use canary yellow. You guys probably can't even see it, but it's there. And then we're going to grab a black. Yeah, um, I know that the I have the uh, pastel set from the uh, brush bullet, or not brush bullet, brush... Uh, chisel and I have a lot of duplicates between that and my 320 set. Nice. Well, hopefully it helped. I'm going to leave that one out. Anyway. Hello, Blue. How are you doing? Oh, I am sorry. How did you get a goose egg in your head? What did I miss? Oh, an ear infection and almost knocking yourself out at work. I, workman's comp is a thing. Just saying. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to take um, I'm just debating on the butterfly if I should just do that in gel pen, which I think I'm going to do. So we're going to start working on our grays. Uh, we're going to start with a light gray, which is going to be cool gray number three. Oh, you are fine. It sounds like it's a, a painful. So we're going to base with the cool gray number three. I have a couple of Copics. I don't have any Pro markers, but I do have a couple of, couple of Copics. And I do find I like the Ohuhu's a little bit better. I don't know why. I just I find that they are a little bit easier to use. Maybe it's because I don't have very many of them, but And they are a lot cheaper.
All right, going to turn the page just slightly so I can get in under here without coloring over anybody's arms, legs. And this is just our base color, so I'm doing it fairly loosely. We'll be coming in with other colors and building that color up. Just doing one section at a time. So we'll do the top part of the wall and then we'll do the bottom part here with the Celtic runes on it, the Celtic knots on it. I don't have any of the pro markers, but uh, I don't, and like I said, I don't have very many of the Copics. Um, I have like six. <laughs> Not enough to really compare, but I do, I do like the color range of the Ohuhus for the price that they have on them, so. I think Jazza Art did a comparison, full comparison between a bunch of different markers, including the Ohuhus against the Pris the Copics, and I do believe he found that the Ohuhus were preferred uh, over the Copics, but that may have changed since I watched the video. People change their minds as quickly as they change their underpants sometimes, so. Uh, yeah, the, the water-based markers I don't buy. Um, the uh, um, alcohol markers I do. Uh, but I don't, I don't enjoy water-based markers at all, so I don't buy them. I do have a couple of sets that uh, I, I try to use every once in a while, but uh, they are not at all my favorite type of marker whatsoever. All right, the next color we're going to go in with is Cool Gray number five. Good night, Noel. Thank you. Have a great night. I hope you uh, enjoy your rest. Going into the heavier shadow areas. With this one here, which is cool gray number five, number 535. I like the brush and bullet myself, but uh, that's only because I'm I'm not uh, I'm not very good with the chisel. I always end up with a really bad streakiness. So I do like the bullet though. I do like the brush and bullet. I 
they have a new series coming out soon as well. Um, I've seen it in beta tests, so I don't know how long it'll take before that comes out, but. Yeah, if you're not the only one using them, then, re you know, the refills and that sort of thing can be quite pricey. I do like the fact that the Ohuhus have come out with the refills as well, so. i come up through here and put that definition back in. Uh, yes, I do believe they do. Um, I think it was June last year when maybe it was Good Friday or um, Black Friday in November. I don't know who did it, but somebody purchased uh, the full 320 set of the Ohuhus for me. I still don't know who did. Uh, nobody has fessed up. <laughs> but... Uh, Whoever did is uh, absolutely wonderfully generous. Uh, but they were on sale really cheap in November. And I was, because I have a lot of birthdays in the house around that time, my oldest son's birthday and my youngest son's birthday are close to there as well as Christmas. So I was not going to buy them. And I pout it. <laughs> the next thing I know, they're on my doorstep. And I asked my husband because I honestly thought he did it. But he said he did not. Now we're going to go in with the darkest gray. Yes, yes. The um, heavier paper with a bit of a glaze on it works great. Usually uh, I use the marker paper or I use the um, cover stock. So card stock made for making book covers and uh, things like that because it has a bit of a, a um, glaze on it so it's got a it's got a shiny area the shinier the better the smoother the paper the better I think this is cool gray number six and we're going to use that for the shadows deep shadows That's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of different colors. I only have the 320. I want to get the rest of them, but I'm not quite sure which uh, ones there are that I don't have. And I don't use markers a whole lot, so I am a very extreme novice at them. <laughs> 
most of the time I, I use them and go, um, what am I doing? <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? But I'm getting better with them. What are pro markers? What brand are they? Just pro marker? I've never seen them, so. Or maybe I have and I just didn't take notice. It's very likely. <laughs> I like the Cali Arts as well. They're pretty good too. They're brush and chisel. Windsor and Newton, okay. I have not any of those. All right, now I want just a slight bit lighter to come under here. So this is cool gray number four. We're using all the grays today. Putting in the definition in the stone. So who's bored with gray so far? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I got my um, Cali Arts quite some time ago, like four years ago, and they work really well still. Another one I really like is um, the uh, Sanjoki. They're a lovely brush marker as well. And But they're a small set. It's only like 120 in comparison to like the Copics or the Ohuhu. Just putting some interest into the stone here. Hello, Marilyn. Good evening, good evening, good evening. And hello all those out there there in Lurker Lurker Land. I think I said hello to you when I, when when I came in, but there may be more out there now. <laughs> Uh, 
I did notice that uh, Jeannie is was streaming at the same when I started, so I don't know if she's still streaming, but I watched a little bit of her stream. Then I had to get ready, so I was lurking through most of it that I got to see anyway. She's off now. Yeah, like I said, I didn't, I didn't uh, stay for the end because I was getting ready for my stream. But so I wasn't sure if she was still going. I think that's all of the interest that we want to put in there. Now we're going to go back over it with the cool gray number three. And we're going to start back here. Blending everything together. Using more of a medium pressure now I don't want to darken the or lighten this area too much so we're just going to just come into the edge of it Actually, let's come into the edge of that with um, this this color here. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of green interest on the uh, on the edge here. Bring it down into the gray a little bit. Sort of like the um, moss kind of stuff because old buildings always have this green algae like moss growing on it so we're going to put some of that in especially under our friend here So this green is olive green 189 and we'll t bring it down just a little bit with the gray so it'll have more of the green gray look but we want it to stand out a little bit. in that gray. Yeah, she was uh, she was on just before me, so.
Now because this is a fairly dark coloring and I'm not worried about it bringing that black up through from the grayscale and because I've gone through and I've erased a lot of the grayscale I will be coming through with a blender and bringing those colors all together. I'll put a little bit more of that green down here. Now the rule of with using your blender in a grayscale is if you're going to be doing it on a light color that you don't want that gray to pop up through, don't use your blender pencil. Um, use the lightest color that you have on the page or a white. Because I'm not too concerned about the gray popping back up through, I can use that blender pencil to bring all these colors together and eliminate the white spot. Now, because the fact that this is um, stone, I'm not too overly concerned about the white spot. What I do want to use the blender pencil for is to bring that green out a little bit and blend it into that gray a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I order pretty much everything I use off of Amazon or from Blick or, you know, uh, pretty much everything I use is offline. I don't uh, I don't have too many stores around here that I'm willing to go to. Um, <laughs> So a lot of the things I use are ordered from different places online. So All right. Now I am going to take that blender pencil. I'm using the Caran Dash blender. Make sure that I have any color that I don't want in there off. And I'm not blending all of the um, white spot out. I'm just blending, gently blending over it, flattening that down a little bit. I'm getting those darker colors blended into the lighter colors such as the greens. And those darker grays. I haven't seen Alex, so, yeah. I hope she's doing okay. I know she's been stressed lately. The move is getting her down. She's not getting enough reading in.
I'm just going to get this blended in and then we'll move on down to the bottom area. Again, I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on this. I'm not worried about all of the white spot. I'm just wanting to get those colors blended in to that green that I just put down. And build up that dark areas. Flatten it out just a little bit. and flatten out that green a little bit more. One of the reasons why I want to make sure that I get some of this area coated with the blender is because I am going to be using a water-based ink on the background and this does protect my edge from getting too much color on it. Do that with the edge up here. This I am going to put down a little bit harder, smoothing it right out. Yeah, she's in Australia. She's an Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> All right, so we've got our two areas done there. Now we're going to come down into here. And we're not going to use the lightest color that we use. We're going to use the medium tone, tone which is cool gray number four. And we're just going to base everything with that. And we are going to finish this page tonight, so hopefully you all have a, uh, you know, time. <laughs> I know you're you're all probably getting pretty bored of gray, but And I do have an easier way of doing it. I could do this entire area with pen, uh, with ink I mean, not pen, but with ink. But I like the way that colored pencil gives it texture, especially on stone and fabric. So I am just basing this. I'm just putting a, a light base coat over everything. And then we'll come back through and we'll start blending everything in. Okay. Now we're going to use cool gray number six. Um, I think, yeah. Hello, Alex. Good evening. I hope you are doing well. I know it's been quite stressful with the move and so forth. come in under here as well with that cool gray number six.
gradually getting thinner as we get up here. Like so. There should be a... There. Come down here. Oh, no problem. You're fine. No, you must not talk to your husband on stream night. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to go a little bit darker with this one here. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's always something that, you know, I guess you have to talk to him at that point. Yeah, I didn't get to see the eclipse here. I don't know if I just missed it because of my timing or if it just wasn't visible. Now we're going to take a brush and dust this off, first of all. Uh, and then we're going to take this light gray, which is cool gray number two, 532. Yeah, it was really cloudy. Yeah, that would explain it. So I'm going through putting the interest back into the Celtic knot here. The lighter gray.
probably should have done this first, but... So that I didn't lose it. Jenny. I was lurking in your stream. Your fish looks very pretty. Just concentrating, I'll be looking back up here in just a second. Just trying to make sure I get all of the highlights in the knot. All right. All right, now we're going to take our green. So we're going to take um, Misty Green, which is 273. And we're going to do some of the upper areas with it, giving it some of that mossy look. So did I miss you coming in? I hope not. Pretty sure I said hello. My brain is elsewhere today. It's all right. I am apologizing if I missed you.
Am I off screen? <laughs> Making sure that I'm not off screen. I think I left it zoomed out just enough that I can do this without getting too far off screen. And not put my hand in your way. <laughs> it's a balancing act, you know? Have it in close enough that you can actually see what I'm doing but have it out far enough that you can't see my hand or only the back of my hand and still uh, stay on screen. Okay, I think we have all the gray, green in there. Okay, good. And then we're going to come back through with our gray. Yeah, I saw that on uh, on Instagram that she got some really good pictures of it. coming back through with a uh, gray a uh, cool gray number 3 I'm just getting in under here as well in this bottom area. Okay, and then we're going to come in with the medium tone. Hello, Della.
Good night, Dawn. Have a great sleep. Thanks for being here. Putting in the shadows underneath the emblems here. Under the decorations, just to make them stand out a little bit. And then we're going to come through with our blender and we're going to blend things in. things stand out on the page a little. Do apologize, the neighbor's dogs have decided that they're going to go insane. Hopefully you guys don't hear them too much. That's the one thing about moving my desk where it is. It's close to the sliding glass door. So when the dogs next door are out, you might end up hearing the barky barky. They're having fun. It's all good. But I don't mind the dogs barking as much as I mind them yelling at them. <laughs> to, sh to stop barking. Although when my dog was around, it was stressful for her to get barked at like that all the time. It did bother her quite a bit. And again, because I am using gray tones, I'm not worried about the <laughs> Aww. Give her some lovin's. going to bring those colors to the forefront here. Not worried about the tooth of the paper showing through. We want some of that tooth to show through, give us some texture. But we do want to bring that green out a little bit more as well as the dark colors. Like so. All right, so that's it for the coloring part of this so far. So far, so good. What do you think? <laughs> so now we're going to do the background. We're going to start with uh, fossilized amber. And we're going to take our ink pad here. Hello, Catherine. 
Thank you. So we're going to take our fossilized amber. I'm not worried about it giving little blotches or anything like that. However, I am dabbing it as I go. So that it doesn't get huge drops. Now we're not going to put this away because we're going to need it again soon. Uh, we are going to put the lid on it though. And uh, take some scattered straw. So I'm using the Tim Holtz, Holtz Distressed Inks. And the color I'm using right now is called Scattered Straw. The first one I used was fossilized amber. It's got a little bit of an orange brown kind of yellow color to it, where this one has a little bit more of the yellow to it. Good night, Lisa. I hope you have a great sleep, dear. Thank you so much for coming in and saying hi. I know it's late. So I'm just smoothing that out a little bit. And then we're going to come in with what's this one. Spiced marmalade. So we're going to use a bigger brush now. Now that we're further away from the stonework here. A bigger brush gives us the ability to spread it a little bit even more even without getting those little hard spots. We're going to 
take our little brush. Come in to all those small areas. Not too worried about it getting on to the wax area because I can just wipe it off of there. And I am going right over top of her wings and we'll color that in with a little bit of color after we finish the background. I want the background color to show through because I am going to make her wings translucent. going to use um, carved pumpkin Like I said, I'm not worried about going over any of this area because I will be coming through with a colored pencil and redefining her wings and putting in just a little bit of wing color as well as the white dots and the sp sprays off of her wings, the fairy dust off her wings. to use. I know that probably looks very strange to y'all, but now we're going to use candied apple. Now that I'm done, you know, ruining this page, 
I'm not quite done ruining it yet, so. Now we're going to take our smaller brush. Uh, maybe. Um, no, I need a bigger brush for now. First of all, I'm going to take this one. I think, yeah. Wilted Violet. Yeah, yeah. I did know that. Last one we're going to use is this one. This, of course, is black. going to take a clean brush and we're going to hope oh, that is not a clean brush <laughs> that had stuff in it and then we're just going to blend this all together Opening up those little edgy areas, like so. Try not to wrinkle your page. Try not to wrinkle your page. <laughs> Pushing a little bit harder just to get those inks into the book, into the page. Good night, Jeannie. Have a great night. All right. So there is that. Now we're going to take our, uh, this one, our Bordeaux, Bordeaux red. And we're going to come through here. 
We're going to spit on our page. Hold on. <laughs> I don't need a spray bottle. I just spit on it. I'm just putting a little bit of this in. Just to give definition. Because we're going to come through with our glitter pen. And then our white gel pen. And then she will be done. Oh, and we need a glitter pen for her tattoo there. Thank you. Nice. I'm glad it came out for you. going to take our wink of Stella yeah I'm going to finish it tonight so a piece of paper. This will do. It's something to get the ink moving on it. Let's put it somewhere that my hand's not going to go dipping into it. Eat a chocolate bunny, are you?
Okay, so now we're done with that. Where did I put the lid? There it is. Oh, that's awesome, Aspie. I love it. All right, so we've got that in there. Now we're going to take some glitter gel pen in the red form. And hopefully this works. And we're going to do her tattoo. Like so. And then we're going to take So we're going to take some white and some red, and we're going to do maybe let's go in. There we go. We're going to do all of the. Really stark ones in the white. And then we're going to come in with a little bit of red. Letting the wings dry a little bit because we've got some sparkle marks up in there as well that we need to fill in. there. Okay, so we're going to put the white in his eyes there. And let's see if we can get this in here. Yeah, okay. Let's do her hair first.
Some of these will come back through and do in red. not stick our hand in it. <laughs> it is still wet, so. I'll show you what I'm going to do on the wings, but unfortunately, because it's still wet, I can't do all of it. But I can do these parts. on the background. I did the glitter first so that it wouldn't wipe away the gel pen. Gel, gel pen, gel pen concentration. Sorry, guys. Just trying to get the white sparkle. Maybe it's dry enough in most places anyway. If it's not, it'll disappear and I'll just have to redo it. But like for now, it's pretty much dry enough. I think that's it. Uh, 
Just making sure I get all the spots. Because we got to get all the spots. <laughs> Alright, so there we have uh, all of her embellishments. And there we have the glitter. And all of her embellishments and the background. And And there we have it. And just in time. So we have used up our two hours and have finished the lovely page. So on Saturday, we will start a new page with a new set of pencils. Of course, always remember to... Uh, you know, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And of course, if you want to come hang out with us, uh, do so by joining us over in Discord. All right, guys, with that, I thank you all very much for watching. Of course, always remember to like, comment, and subscribe to any YouTube artist that you enjoy. And of course, always remember to relax, color, and stay safe, everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye for now. Thanks, Shannon. Hi, bye.